This is a project for all the schools, the teachers, the parents, school children, people at home, the grown up kids, the ones that haven't grown up like me. This is a crazy historical moment in time. The whole world has closed, but at the same time, it's also a time that needs to be recorded. My project is, and I'm asking everyone out there to do this because I think it's really important. You need to record how you're feeling and all the experiences you've had in your own country, your own city, village or town, um, the good stuff. But also, you know, if you want to include some of the bad stuff as well, that's entirely up to you. But I want you to do it in a visual way. The reason why I want you to do this is so you capture this moment. It's your personal moment from your perspective. It's not the media, it's not the news or the politicians. This is your own personal story. Anyone who's been following me um, on social media knows that when I travel and go away, I do visual diaries. These are a few of my visual diaries to give you an idea of the type of thing that I want or I'd love you to get involved with. So to give you an idea, this is how my books look, um, pretty much loosely drawn. Just writing down everything that happened throughout the day or the week, maybe numbering it by a day, so day one, day two, day three, etc. Um, obviously these are travel diaries, but replacing these with your daily um, routine, you know, your meals with friends, the food you eat, the games you play, um, the people you talk to, all the things that you can record, maybe list all the things that you hear on the news as well. Uh, there's so much information out there that we, we are taking in um, and it would be a great thing just to have it as, um, as a memory for the future to come. Eventually you could end up with something like this. I'm actually not tall enough to actually hold it all up, so I do apologise. But maybe if I was on a stool that could work. But you get the idea. So there you go, it's as simple as that. All you need is basically something like a, an A4 book, uh, which, is, which is perfect, my choice. Um, and you, you, can, you can start sketching in it, very simple. You can go smaller, A5, it's entirely up to you. Um, or, because the art shops are closed, um, as I know, um, you can just get scraps of paper as well. And any bits, you know, whether your parents have got A4, um, A3, A2, anything like that. And then the last things you need are just basically pens and pencils that you can, you can write and draw with. Um, I think this is a really good, fun thing. Like I said, this is, a, this is a historical moment in time. We will never, hopefully, live through this again. Um, it's a one-off in our lifetime. I think it's really important to be able to get down your message, the way that you feel, um, on paper, basically. You can get your phone out and you can take photographs and you can you know, send texts and stuff like that. But in, in 10 years from now, when you, you find this little book or these reams of paper, um, you'll remember everything that happened. As the, record as much as you can. It might be something stupid, like uh, the, the meals that you prepared, the conversations you had over the dinner table, things you did in the garden. I don't know, you did something in the flat, or you painted, or you made something, you did something with your parents. You know, don't run away from the fact that this is a major thing but also write down the good things as well you know the nhs and the volunteers in the uk the singing on the balconies in italy the, the workout on the rooftops i think that was in spain you know it's amazing how the human beings can come together and create this unique um community brass band playing on top of the balcony while everyone down below is dancing um, but if you've recorded that, if you've drawn it and you've put a little story by it, 
then you're going, yeah, I remember that. How cool are human beings? And what a crazy, amazing time that was. But also a crazy, sad time as well. And this would give us an opportunity to maybe reevaluate who we are as human beings, what we're doing to the planet, um, and how we see things as well. So you can record things that are your story, your personal story, your own feelings, your thoughts, your fears, um, your future thinking, without the politicians giving you the words, without the media giving you the words. Make it your story and just enjoy this moment to yourself uh, with your family as well. You know, this is a very unique time for most people in the fact that we don't spend as much time with each other as we should. All I want to say is have some fun with it, enjoy it, um, and then post it online as well. Send me pictures. You know, let's create a community all around the world where people are actually sharing their work and talking about themselves as opposed to you know, everything we hear in the news and all the scary stuff that's going on. Let's, let's create a community of humanity and hope. Um, good luck, get in King, and seriously have some fun with it because we need to at the moment. Bye.